Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday for lunch. Today we're having orange chicken with broccoli or a turkey and cheese sandwich with leafy greens, cucumber, celery sticks, baby carrots, peas, apples, craisins, or mandarin oranges. We have one birthday today, and that is Melanie from Miss Brown's class, so happy birthday to you. And now it's on to Future Friday. Okay, everyone, it's time for another Future Friday where we look into your future to see what kind of careers and colleges are available to you. It's important to know what options you have because knowledge is power, and we want you to know all of the options, including college, trade school, military, employment, technical college. There's so many paths you can take. All right, everyone, this week we are visiting the Scholastic Academy from the D6 Academies and Pathways. And this one is a more of a general field in case you aren't exactly sure what you want to do. But there are some options for you to get some extra education to help prepare you for whatever you do in the future. So the Scholastic Academy includes the International Baccalaureate, the IB program. Just like we have at our school, there's a program at Greeley West that you could continue going to. There's Advanced Placement, which is at Greeley West, Greeley Central, and Northridge, or the Early College Academy, which is part of Ames Community College. So all of these just aim to help you get more experience, more knowledge, so that you're ready for whatever you do in the future. And so going off of that, if you did go to the IB track, you would be very well set up to become a diplomat or an embassy employee. So all around the world, there are embassies in different countries including in our country we have a lot of embassies from other places usually in Washington DC which is our capital of our country and if you work there you would represent your country so if you were from America being an American diplomat you would go to other countries and represent America there so in this kind of job some important tasks are working for a certain country and telling that country's opinion to other countries you also would talk with others and help the people from that country. Some important skills are listening to others, not interrupting and asking good questions, noticing a problem, figuring out the best way to solve it, understanding others' reactions, and bringing people together to work through problems. A good personality for this job is someone who's dependable, so you're going to show up. You have good self-control, you pay good attention to detail, have high stress tolerance, and good communication skills. So if you'd like to watch a video about what being a diplomat is really like, you can click on the link in the description below. Lead the charge, Buffaloes. All right, we have some more friends here with us that we are going to learn more about. So we will start right here. What is your name? Hi, my name is Ho Yun, and you can just call by my name, but I know my pronunciation is hard, so it's okay to just call me anything. <laughs> anything? Yeah. We will learn how to pronounce your name, Ho Yun. All right. Um, what is your major in school? What are you studying? Okay, I'm majoring in primary education in school, and especially English is my specific major. Okay, English, and she is learning so much English. She's very good at English so we can continue to practice with her. Good job learning all that. Um, what is different about Dos Rios than schools in Korea? Oh, uh, So I'm now in kindergarten right now in Dos Rios and I know that in Korea's kindergarten is more focused on like caring and looking at behaviors or something mm -hmm. and in Dos Rios like American countries elementary school like they are more focused on some assessments and like evaluating kids mm -hmm. and that was quite impressive to me okay so here we focus more on education mm -hmm. and assessment yeah. in kindergarten whereas in korea it's more caring. about behavior yeah. and taking care of kids more yes. like a preschool mm -hmm. okay well that's very interesting well thank you so much for being here with us and teaching us about Korea and about learning with us. We'll move over to our other friend. What is your name? Uh, hi, my name is Ayong. Uh, you can call me by my name, Ayong. Yeah. All right, Ayong, thank you for being here with us. <laughs> what are you studying in school? What's your major? Uh, my major is primary education, especially technology and science education for life. 
All right, that's very interesting. That's a lot of very interesting topics. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what is something that you've noticed that's different about Dos Rios than schools in Korea? Mm, I think recess time is different. Um, in Korea, uh, there are recess time between every class in the class classroom for 10 minutes. But in here in Dos Rios, there are recess time in vitamin D time. So um, I think it's very helpful to helpful helpful for kids. So it was so impressive. For them yeah. to be able to go outside and play yeah. on the playground. Yeah. Awesome. Well that's very great to learn. Thank you guys so much for being here with us and taking a risk and doing something that might be a little bit scary, but I'm so thankful for you guys being here with us. So have a wonderful day and we'll say bye, bye. to our friends.